Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's Caroline Mutoko. I'm joined by Nelly Twikong, who you know from Pauline Cosmetics. She needs no introduction. However, you will be looking at her in a whole new way because first you just had to put up with my absolute ignorance when it comes to the cosmetic industry and also my shock that it's not that straightforward to get the shades I wanted. Mm -hmm. The day I said I want lipstick for women like me, mm -hmm. four mm -hmm. shades that I know are important to us, there are basics, it's our red, but it has to work with the fact that we we are a certain shade. Mm. There's the plum. I wanted a warm mouth, a brown, and then a nude. Mm. I just thought, Ash, by February will be done. Mm -hmm. Until I realized, so I've just literally glided this here. So you taught me that it's one thing for me to fall in love with this. Yes. But if I turn around and say, mm, can it be a little glossier? Mm. It will change. It will change. So with that formula, it makes it a bit darker. With a different formula, it makes it a bit warmer, like you're saying. The formula changes the color of the product oh, all the time. Oh, I felt that when I put that on. Mm. But that is gorgeous. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you, you change that, let's say, into a lip gloss. And it, it changes completely. It changes the product. Yeah. So at some point, I remember listening to the tall order of the four lipsticks. And yes. Like, hmm, hmm, so hmm. I don't want them too, too satiny. Mm. Because I know what that means. It means it you get transfer. caught in your teeth, there's yeah. transfer, there's what. But also, it needs to last a little longer. Yeah. Yeah, the woman I'm developing this for doesn't have time to be touching mm -hmm. up her lipstick every mm -hmm. two minutes. She doesn't. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I realized the shades I loved. And then the minute I said, but I want it to be like this, you were like, uh. It cannot happen. So what happened is, I must have looked at until, honestly, I had blurred vision. Oh yeah, I sent you out to look at lipsticks. I know. <laughs> so like 15 shades of just red. Yeah. And then another 20 shades of just nude. Yeah. And then another 30 shades of what I call plum. And I'm just, I'm like, no. Uh-huh. And then remember there was a day I sold it, I bought all this. Yeah, and you, you brought in, you're like, I love this. I love this, this but beautiful. it's not right. It's yeah. just, it's yeah. So we, we make that same color because it was much more, it was creamier. So the texture is much more creamier. Yes. Yeah. And it, get, it goes it on nicely. Well. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah, remember a mattish No, it is finish. like. Yeah. Yes. It, and I like, don't like it. Stays on. Yes. So finding the balance. Literally, I did have in December f some panic attacks where I'm thinking, okay, the formula has to be just right. The yes. way you described it. Because myself also, I have a hard time wearing super matte lipstick. Yeah. I, I just. Um, um, but at the same time, deviating from what I've kind of been making, which is a cream lipstick, mm -hmm. to finding a perfect formula that will look good in all these shades you've described, that was stressful. Because I wanted to make sure we get the right color and not compromise on the formulation, if that makes sense. No, I totally get yeah. that. That's a, that, that new terminology for me. So understanding that this is actually the... the component the box it will come in is the packaging this is the material material and i have to create this first because yes. and then the formula for this will be put together and then it will be poured into the component because each component uh -huh. has a different net weight right oh, so yeah. if you're going i hadn't to thought about <laughs> that you're absolutely right yeah so are you going to do a um, 12 gram lipstick? Is it going to be eight grams? Is it going to be... <gasps> that completely changes the material because you know, we have to buy the material to make the lipstick, right? So it determines the, the cost, the cost of the final product. Yes, madam. I am no longer harakishing anybody and nobody's allowed to harakisha me on Facebook, on Twitter, anywhere. Because I am learning that, and I finally did give you my four, mm -hmm. we agreed on, mm -hmm. which once again will come back and then I say go. Mm. Yes. <gasps> yeah. Because we're not picking a lipstick off the shelf. No, we're creating we're it. We're creating everything. Remember, we're not also picking the packaging 
off the shelf. It is being made from scratch with your specifications. And then that has to be approved the same way you have to approve the colors, you have to approve the packaging. Because once we're done, we're done. There's no once, comebacks. Yeah, once it's done, it's however thousands of pieces are poured through that machine. Now, I need to look at this camera and say hi to Tabitha Karanja. Remember yeah. once telling me I should go into manufacturing? You did not tell me it looks like this. You just told <laughs> me it's a smart thing to do. Mm. It's, it's, I have learned a lot and I'm excited, but man. Mm. Mm. So what possessed you to do this? I know that I was excited about the idea of creating something for women like me and not, because I'm also not alone in the fact that sometimes you go to a makeup outlet and you're like, I, ati mm -hmm. ngapi? I mean, do I have to try before I find the right one? Mm -hmm. Imagine I have things to do and yeah. board, uh, board packs to read. I can't. Yeah. I can't. So that, that's, I was very clear. I, I want women like me, mothers, um, directors, CEOs, um, members of parliament, uh, just high achieving women mm. who for them time is their most precious commodity. Yeah. But they still want to look fly. Yep. Yes, the fact that we're on the run doesn't mean we shouldn't look good. Exactly. And for me, what possessed me is to be able to ha give you those options oh. as a black woman, because those options were not there. They were not there. Yeah. But... Yeah. And also, you know, when you're talking about nudes, that's the other thing. It's okay, let's very disagree. tricky. The nude, when it yeah. lands, all of you have to love it, because <laughs> the amount of work I have done on it is not funny. I've sent it back. A couple of times. Though, because yeah. the red, the red, that one we were like snap. Those we were able to find that. Colors. Those were easy. Yeah. The maroon, I knew Those between my mom. Yeah. There's certain ladies I know who would never wear a red mouth, but they're like, that mm. one I can do. It doesn't shout. It's nice. It sits in my handbag. Mm. And then, you know, there was that um, warm, chocolatey yeah. brown with a hint of, mm -hmm. you know, mauve. That one I knew. Mm. The nude. You have to love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. So... I'm allowed to say timelines again. I think I just realistically shifted my timeline again by two weeks. Okay. By two weeks. We're not saying anything until the day it lands, by the way. Don't even joke. Yeah. I don't want pressure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think in December, I don't know if you felt it as much as I did, but there was pressure. I was excited. And then yeah. the pressure arrived. And then I'm like, Caroline, you can't have it. It's okay. <laughs> it can't happen. It can't happen. I didn't, I didn't have a component. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, didn't you didn't have a component, so we know what milligrams it is. Is it eight? <sighs> is it 12? Is it smaller? Is it bigger? Because I think there was also a very tiny packaging. I remember we had like a really tiny packaging. Yes. Yeah. It's like four grams. Uh, no, I didn't want that. Yeah. That disappears in the handbag. Exactly. Yes. I also want something nicely substantive. Yeah. So it's like making those decisions, making them fast, communicating a lot of. And that's what forth. I didn't realize, making those decisions, but also making them fast. Yeah. I Which again, realize. you don't want. I did, and I also did not want to rush you, mm. but knowing what I knew, which was we were coming, we were coming into December holidays. Yes. Um, and then immediately we came back, we were getting into Chinese, Chinese New Year's, New, New Year's Year. holidays. Yeah. So we had a bunch of holidays stacked together. But I guess the lesson forward is you, you need to have a global view of what you're doing before you say, I will, I will do this. I will create this. Yeah. Because unless I'm cooking the lipstick in the back of in the back room in my house, I have to understand that there's all these other players. Yeah, but I don't think there's no there's a way for you to really know that until, until you know you're it. in it. Even if Tabitha Karanja would have told, yeah, told you, me, yes, actually I'd be like, huh? maybe if you went to the factory and saw so what's happening. And here's the worst thing I've never been. been to. I have launched her brewery. I've never been in it. Yeah, yeah. That then changes your entire dynamic. But there's no way for you to know all of this until you're in it and have somebody to guide you because literally I had no idea all these things I learned on the fly okay and and nobody helps you and when when you come back because I'm going to tell you subscribe go get a drink of water I met uh, she's so small she looks mm -hmm. like she's straight out of high school 
uh, Joanne Kay. Joanna Kinu, yeah, yeah. And she told me the one person who's guided her through the process is you. Mm -hmm. She's like, people in this town don't help anybody. But Nelly did. Oh, <laughs> we've got to talk about that. Subscribe and come back.